guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm gonna make like a strawberry milkshake type of tumbler. I'm super excited about it. And before I start, I wanted to tell you guys thank you. My last video, I filmed it a little differently and I wanted y'all's input. It was mixed input, but most of it was leaning towards to film how I always have. So I'm going to use the voiceovers for like, there will be a bit of a voiceover in this tutorial because I'm going to be um, doing something while the tumblers on the turner. So I'll leave the voiceovers for that. Or if maybe I'm just like sick that day and I can't really, I don't really want to film my face or something like that. I don't know, but there will be voiceovers here and there, but I will not be switching completely over to the voiceovers. So thank you guys so much for kind of like experimenting that with me. And most of the comments were very respectful in your opinions and everything. So thank you. So now let's jump in. I am using a 25 ounce barrel from Courtney's Customs Blanks. I have several of these left on my website. I love the barrels. I don't know, I guess just because they're, they're different, but, and I have like big old hands, so like I can grip it very easily, but I love the 25 ounce barrels and I am super excited to work with one. So we're also going to need some mica powders. These are all from the glitter grind. This one is vintage rose. This one is love letter. And then this one is glacier. Now the glacier came in with the interference mica bundle. There are several different, like, I don't know if I would really call them opals, but they're like whites. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could call them opals, but they're whites and then they have like hints, just, just little bear baby hints of color in them. They're really super pretty. And the glacier was a part of that. So I chose this one out of the bundle and I base painted the tumbler white from Rust-Oleum. So the only thing we're going to do today is add epoxy and add these two colors. And I'm only going to use these two colors today and I'm going to leave the glacier for tomorrow and I'll explain um, more about that here in just a minute. So here we go. I'm starting by just adding a coat of epoxy to the tumbler and good lord y'all I don't think there's anybody else in this crafting world who is as messy as I am with their epoxy. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't realize it while I'm doing it and then I go back and I see these videos and I'm like good lord girl you got to calm down. Oh my gosh, but I can't even tell you exactly how much epoxy I mixed up and I'm putting on here, but clearly I'm putting on a pretty good healthy thick coat here. So there you go. <laughs> I took some leftover epoxy and separated it into two separate cups and I am taking about the size of a pea of each of those two colors and putting them into the cups of epoxy here and stirring them up. And you can see as soon as I start stirring up those mica powders, the darker one is the love letter and then the lighter one is the vintage rose it just completely changes the color of the epoxy now i'm hitting the tumbler with some heat with my heat gun from hippie crafter and this is to not only pop bubbles but to warm up that epoxy so the mica powdered epoxy will flow really nice and smoothly and easily around the tumbler now I am going in with the mica powders and I started with the darker one first and it was a lot darker than I expected it and a lot darker than what I really needed for this project but it's still such a beautiful color and these mica powders are so pigmented it's really incredible. So I'm going in with the vintage rose now to try to drown out that dark color and I mean it works a little bit but um, it's still pretty dark but it's I think it's really really pretty. Now just going in with the heat gun again to get those mica powders to blend and swirl together. And I didn't realize I was hitting my chair that I had the camera sitting on. So now you get to see this other tumbler that I'm working on as well. So sorry. <laughs> All right, so here we are the next day and it is a little darker than I really wanted it to be. But another reason why I said I wasn't going to add the Glacier mica powder on yet was because of this. I got these super cute little strawberry slice images on Creative Fabrica and it actually came as like a picture of the sliced strawberry and then there was a whole strawberry beside it and it had like the green leaves but I just kind of like edited some of that out so I only had the strawberry slice and I made them 
oh my gosh, it was one inch wide. And I think that automatically made it like 0 0.79 inches tall. So I think there's nine or 10 of them here and I'm just going to scatter them kind of like around the tumbler to make it look like, you know, pieces of strawberries floating around the milkshake. So now that this part's done, I'm gonna pop this on the turner and I will get back to the rest of this here in just a little bit. So now I wanna make a removable topper and I am going to use an acrylic blank from Maker Flow Crafts, some lightweight spackling that I got from Amazon, of course the lid, some UV resin and a UV lamp from CCDIY, and some itty bitty little magnets from Amazon. So I'm gonna start by peeling away this backing from both sides of the acrylic blank and it's kind of hard to get off especially if you're like me I chew my nails like crazy so I don't have much to get it off with okay so now the backing's off so it's just clear and it fits pretty perfect on this lid here so I'm going to take two of these little magnets and I'm going to start by putting them on the lid. I'm gonna put one here and I'm gonna put on one at a time because if I put them too close, they're gonna, you know, come together. So I'm just gonna take a little dab of the UV resin from CCDIY. Put a little dab there. Put the magnet down on it. and take the lamp and let this cure for 60 seconds. Okay, so now it's time to add the second magnets. So what I have found to be the easiest to do was to go ahead and grab two magnets, pop one on top of the other, and then add a dab of UV resin on top of those magnets. Then, add the car coaster or acrylic blank or whatever it is that you're using and UV lamp it. Okay, so now we have a removable topper. So the next thing to do is to make the whipped cream. So I'm gonna take this lightweight spackling and put some in my cup here and it takes a lot more than you think. So I'm gonna put a good bit in there. I might have to mix up more, I hope not. And just to make it a little smoother and brighter white, I'm gonna take some Apple Barrel acrylic paint. This is just white. And add some in there and mix it up. But I might have to add some more. I'm just gonna add little by little. All right, good to go. So now, this is a cake piping bag. It's reusable, it's like silicone. You get it from Amazon. And I'm just putting it together right now because I did take it apart to clean it earlier. And this stuff is so messy and I'm a messy person anyway. So bear with me. So now I'm gonna put all of what I mixed up here into the bag. Okay, so now it's time to add this whipped cream and I am just trying to squish everything down into the bottom of the bag. Okay, so now these are stinking adorable. These are little strawberries that I got from the Glitter Grind. And I'm just gonna take one and just kind of squish it down right on top there and let this set for a couple of days to let it completely harden. So now heading back over to the tumbler, I'm adding another messy coat of epoxy <laughs> onto it. And now you guys are gonna see why I saved that Glacier mica powder until now. And that little speck on the bottom of the tumbler, I know y'all are seeing it and you're like, Courtney, get it, get it, get it. It was like a random piece of vinyl that kind of 
made its way over there. I do get it off, I promise, because it was bothering me too. And now comes in the Glacier Mica Powder. I mix that up with some more epoxy and I'm just drizzling it all over the tumbler, paying special attention to the pictures of the strawberry slices. And the reason why I saved this for last is because I didn't want the pictures of the strawberries to be like setting right on top of all that color. I wanted it to look more like a milkshake, you know, like it was blended in a little more. So I felt like putting the glacier epoxy or mica powder in the epoxy and then drizzling it over would give it more of like a milky look if that makes sense I know it's kind of weird to say that but you guys get what I'm trying to say have a milkshake. <laughs> Look how cute. I love it. And that strawberry is in there pretty good. I don't think it's going to be going anywhere. Of course, this is removable. Um, I don't have anything over all of the um, lightweight spackling. If it, if, like, if I didn't do a removable topper and I just put it directly on this, I would drizzle some epoxy, maybe even like paint some epoxy on with like a brush to get like all in the crevices and everything. And I might still do that before I put this on my website. Um, but for now, this is what I'm leaving it at. I just realized my lips look a little blue. <laughs> okay, so let's ignore that while I end this video. Y'all, I'm eating some gourmet popcorn. And this is blueberry cheesecake. And I think the, the blue pieces are staining my mouth. So, <laughs> But yeah, that's the end of this video. So. <laughs> Before I go, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, It is never too late to be what you might have been. And that was said by George Eliot. That is all I have for y'all today. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And I do want to say really quickly, um, if I do not have a video up longer than usual, normally I try to get to a week. If I am taking a much longer break than normal, um, we are in the path of a pretty nasty snow and ice storm. We're expecting some power outages. I'm not exactly sure how long it'll last, if it even happens. I'm hoping maybe it will break up and just not be as bad as they say it's going to be. But we are supposed to get a pretty nasty storm. So I might be absent for a few extra days. If you see me posting another video, then you'll know, you know, all is good. But um, anybody in the line of that storm, I pray that you stay safe and warm. And I just hope uh, things like this freak me out. But I just wanted to give y'all a little update on that. So that's all I have for y'all today. If y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.